A state representative says he intended to foster a business relationship between Texas and Israel by banning state agencies from working with anyone who boycotts the country. But now he says his law is being misunderstood. Case in point, a fired Pflugerville educator who filed a lawsuit against her former school district. Kes Cakes and Steffi Lee explains that that representative is now working to clarify the statute. Well, I have been contracting with Pflugerville Independent School District for around nine years as a speech language pathologist. But this year, Bahia Amawi's contract was different. This year, I had the original contract in August, but then later on, a few weeks later, I was followed with an addendum that was required to sign for the first time. The addendum required her to pledge she wouldn't boycott Israel. It was shocking because I didn't understand what is my job as a speech therapist, helping kids, you know, learn and grow in their speech and communication in elementary school has to do with economic harm with Israel. I saw no connection. Pflugerville ISD responded to Bihia's lawsuit on Facebook, saying this language was required by the state for all school districts. Representative Phil King says this was never his intention and he's working to fix the law. It was never intended to, uh, to affect an individual that's, that's an employee or a contractor it was it was always intended to to stop public funds from being used by enterprises to help them or to subsidize their efforts to boycott Israel. He goes on to say it only applies to corporations, pension fund purchases, and stock purchases. I think no matter how, what they do, it's still a violation of free speech. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is also named in the complaint filed in federal court. His spokesperson sent a statement saying in part, while private citizens and companies have the right to express their views, they don't have the right to use money they obtain from government contracts to make that statement. Steffi Lee, KXAN News. The ACLU of Texas also filed a First Amendment challenge to this law today. It's representing four other people, and turns out this is really an argument over principle rather than actual practice. The Texas Comptroller's Office is required to have a list of companies that boycott Israel on its website. There are only three companies named and not ones that we have ever heard of.